so uh, welcome to my men's kitchen so today we're gonna make uh, jackfruit which is called kathal in hindi okay so let's see what all things are required to make a kathal okay so we need uh, like this uh, size chopped uh, kathal or jackfruit uh, half kgs then we need around two to three chilies around uh, these are very small garlics so you can have like uh, five or six if you have big garlic or small will be like eight or ten garlics this much quantity of garlic uh, sorry ginger and around uh, th three to four uh, big onions mm -hmm. so the first thing which we'll do over here is we'll gonna put the uh, the jackfruit in the water in a boiling water and we'll boil it for around five minutes this will uh, make the jackfruit soft okay so we'll put all the jackfruit in a boiling water and uh, we'll wait for it to boil for like five minutes and then we'll remove it from the water so now you can see the water is boiling and uh, the jackfruit is uh, ready in this way in this way you also clean the jackfruit like if there is some bacteria and all everything will go out and it will make your jackfruit soft so now you can off the flame and take out from water and we need to make sure that all the water is out from the jackfruit because after this process we are going to fry it so we will uh, remove it in the pan so that all the water goes out in like one or two minutes So now the time the oil is boiling we need to make the oil uh, keep boiling for some time in this time what we'll do is we'll uh, we have chopped all the onion and we have peeled up the garlic and cleaned the chili we'll put it in all together in the mixer in the mixer and we'll uh, make a paste out of this. paste is now ready try to put the minimum water in this so that uh, when we will put this in oil you'll have the minimum splash of oil coming out now so this the paste is ready we'll keep it for some time and we'll now start frying the jackfruit you need to be very careful because the jackfruit is uh, wet uh, because it just boiled and the oil is hot so just be careful when you put it Uh, we'll give, give some time to the jackfruit to boil and till it becomes uh, brown. So now you see our uh, jackfruit is almost fried. After frying, it will look like this. It will look almost like uh, meat or uh, non veg or in Spaniel we say carne. And one good recipe uh, when you are cooking food is to put music. This will give a good taste to your food. Yeah. So I just uh, added some music in the background. So you can dance in background. Yes. And also in the starting you might have seen my jackfruit was kind of uh, little already fried. Little. It, was, it was not fried. Actually I bought this jackpot, jackfruit uh, fruit uh, yesterday and we were supposed to do this yesterday but i couldn't do it so i am doing it today so jackfruit generally lasts for once you buy a jackfruit it will last for two to three days very easily so no problem you buy it and then uh, you can use it in the next one or two three days okay so this jackfruit is ready now we will make the the onion the paste which you made and see and, and my wife says this uh, this jackfruit looks like a wood like I fried a wood looks it feel like it's so hard it's crispy okay crispy like a wood Ooh, I will not die eating that like so hard on my throat yeah okay I okay. chose you okay 
so now uh, the next step is i'm using this uh, express or a pressure cooker okay uh, because in this when we'll cook the jackfruit it will be very fast because it will be covered so it will be it will take less time to cook and become more soft okay so you can make it in the normal vessel also uh, just it will take more time you need to just make sure that the jackfruit is soft enough to uh, eat now so for that reason i'm using this so starting with this i take like one uh, one spoon of uh, oil uh, the one uh, serving spoon of oil okay and then the first thing i'm going to add is as a feather or we call it heat like uh, half tablespoon okay the uh, any thing you can take the ram this thing and uh, once this is like oil is hot we'll add the paste which we have ready over here for the onion onion garlic thousands of so they will kill thousand of neuron cells so now you can see all our uh, the paste which we made for uh, onion garlic and ginger this paste is all ready here and we will now cook it till it will become brown okay so now we'll add all the spices in one place we'll take like one spoon of uh, turmeric powder or haldi like four spoons of uh, uh, coriander powder or dhania powder comino powder all by one okay around four spoons of this like tsp spoons and around uh, one Three fourth spoon of uh, red chili powder. Okay. Okay. I add little bit of water to this. I add all these spices and mix together before it goes. You can uh, also add this spices, spices directly, but I like to do it this way. So we have like a. Uh, curry kind of uh, paste over here okay so i put all this complete paste in the in the onions onions are not brown okay so uh, now i am going to add this maggi masala i made which gives a very good taste like uh, one spoon of this okay it's almost finished so <laughs> i have <laughs> Use all because I cannot keep it. This is like the desi way or like you say the like Indian way when you have the things about to finish. Yeah, finish it. Okay. Next, uh, we'll add the salt as per your taste. So for my taste, I need two tablespoons of salt. One and two. Maybe a little bit more. That's my taste. Now this is something special, but uh, like add like half pinch of uh, sugar. This will give a tangy taste. You will not even feel the sugar is there, but it will give you a very good taste. Okay, and then uh, like a half uh, tablespoon of uh, mango powder. Everything is ready. We'll mix it again. Mix, 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 mix. You can see now we are already getting the color of the gravy. These things are dirty because I was because when it was evaporating, the water is coming out. That's normal. So More the color should be like this, a little less. Can be less, enough. less dark depending upon the intensity of your spices. What okay. kind of? Yeah. Okay. We we'll cover this and we'll give it for like two minutes so that you see the oil. You see the oil droplets, okay? When you see the oil coming out of the uh, the onion, that is the time when your uh, paste is ready, and we'll add the uh, jackfruit in this. We'll not close it. No, this is just for uh, cover. Yeah. We'll close it with the jackfruit. So now my oil, the I can see the oil coming out of my of the onion, okay? So I'll add the jackfruit now, carefully.
some people don't like to eat the seeds of their fruit but uh, like i said my wife loves that uh, seed it's like a ball so we are very sorry no but still it depends on your choice how you want your jack fruit we like it this way i put all the parts mm -hmm. so our body is touching yes we put the crunching and more oil you can also these small small pieces is good to keep this will give a good uh, texture to the final outcome okay so this is ready now we mix this paste if the vegetarian will see what i am cooking we will say like as a non veg food i am cooking over here okay now this will need little bit of water because we are going to cover it and cook it and add little bit of water just to make make a steam inside and the jackfruit can be cooked okay let me add the more water one second one they don't record this one so she already recorded the part which was not record required <laughs> anyways it's a extra video for you so this is the end of the spices like 1 te 1 te uh, te teaspoon of garam masala okay garam masala is basically the mixture of many spices which are uh, hot in nature so uh, we we get it very easily in the market okay so this is garam masala is usually the last thing to put whenever you're cooking anything it should be your last spices which you will cook put in this so everything is now almost ready okay now i'll just give it some uh, steam or some time i'll give it uh, with the cover so that the jackfruit gets soft and cooks good okay don't worry for your uh, container it's dirty the uh, the aunty is tomorrow will clean it yeah that's me i will clean so you see there are Uh, I will. I will. I am giving like uh, these are. This is the second one, and on the third, I will off the flame. So you see, uh, jackfruit is now ready. I have taken out the container. Almost looks like uh, non-veg, but yes, it's all complete veg food. It's gonna be very delicious. I hope you guys will make it. Post it. Post your photos. How you gonna make it? How it looks like? This is little dark because uh, while I was cooking the onion, it got little burnt. But uh, so be careful when you're making uh, frying the onion. Just make sure uh, you keep moving, 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 and it, so it will not be that dark. But again, the taste will be very good. I'm sure. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. So if you want more videos from Men's Chef, from the Men's Kitchen. let me know and uh, i'll be posting uh, i'll i love to show you more videos thank you have a have a good dinner good lunch bye bye take care